Hey everybody, I'm gonna do a short video with some of the preparations for my next journal that I'm doing for my friend Sandy M. And this is the cover. And now I wanna add some things to it according to some of the things she's told me she likes. Um, at least what I can find. You know, I can't find everything, but I try. Um, I am gonna add <clears throat> this piece of paper into it, um, probably this envelope. These, I had scraps left over from the cover, so those are going to go as part of it. Um, she mentioned that she liked zinnias, morning glories, and gladiolas, and I, th that's not a morning glory, but I was thinking, they're probably not morning glories, but they're similar so I thought I would use that page. And then squirrels, squirrels, horses, and dogs. But um, I have two versions of the tail of, um, this one is Timmy, Timmy Tiptoes and by Beatrix Potter. And this one is the tail of Squirrel Nutkin. And so they're both super cute and really cute pictures. So I'll be using these um, like journaling cards and pockets and tuck spots, the little pictures. So I thought that would be perfect. And then I thought I would look in here for something um, for the in this book and see what I could find um, that I felt might like here, okay, yeah, definitely this. This is definitely Morning Glories right here. So, that one for sure. It's really pretty. Um, colors, red and yellow. So, I just want to see um, if there's something else I want from this book. And, oh, there's another, another book I might look at for the red and yellow colors. Um, this is birds and so I was just looking for maybe something I felt might go in. Well, I'm glad I found those morning glories because that made me happy. Kind of looking through here quick, see if anything catches my eye as this gets started. It's a good thing, you know, that I do stuff journals like these because then I can kind of go and I, sometimes I forget what I have. And then when I'm searching through book pages I've cut out and stuff like that, um, I do end up finding things that um, I hadn't, you know, that I forgot that I had. So anyway, um, I have the Stephanie's Diary stuff to look through. And let me see, one more thing, hang on there. I have this botanical treasures that somebody gave me. Um, they used the prints. They wanted some of the prints. Um, but I have the book. And I have cut something out of it already, but I thought it might be kind of fun to cut something out that would make a beautiful page. And I just want to see what they have, if they have any of the flowers I'm looking for. They're more exotic, but I'll look. Just in case. Okay, well, I turned to this page, and I think I love that red flower. And I think the redness is what's drawing me. Um, cause I don't think I'm going to find that the particular flower, any of the particular flowers that she mentioned, but 
this red flower is amazing. So I'm just going to cut that out. Here we go. And I can use that for the red. And it's got a tinge of yellow, but I think very pretty. So we have that. She actually gave me this book for cutting out stuff. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty amazing. I'm going to just kind of be keeping track of um, gotta keep track of my time because I have to get to work on time, but I have things I wanted to just see what I have here. I must have cut these out for something and then I don't know. Oh, because then I, yeah, I always choose. I like to choose some of these things if something ah, will match. <laughs> All my tabs are falling on the floor. Got what I had cut out. <sighs> Seriously. I think this one. So we'll add that. And I must have cut some out and then I didn't. Yeah, I got some papers and stuff I cut out and I didn't use. Just little pieces. I must have had them for something. Don't know what. Probably, oh, I was using the colors. Like, there's some red in here. And so I might um, use some of these things. I'll just put those in and put the rest of this away. All right, so basically, I'm just looking for anything that kind of, because I like to use these for journaling cards and such. So if I see a flower or a color that I feel might, you know, stands out to me as something that I think the person I'm doing it for will like, then I put that in. So I'm just going to go through kind of like this. So I think I'll take these two out. These would work for a good, I think. Yeah, so I just cut up my Daphne's diary agendas. <laughs> and I'm just using stuff from them. And we'll see what we come up with. Always lots of pink. I probably should have looked up what zinnias look like because I don't actually, <clears throat> I don't actually know. Hmm. Morning glories, yes. Gladiolas, I would love to find some gladiolas. We could get those. Gladiolas was one flower we got in Mexico all the time. One of the most common flowers that they sold um, in all kinds of colors. I absolutely loved gladiolas. They're so, so pretty. Um, and you could just get them in so many colors. So I just loved them. They're just going to kind of flip through this really fast. This is a good one. Let's take this one. I'm just seeing, if like, well, see what I got. Because I don't know. I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> lots and lots.
Yeah, and these always make really good journaling type things that you can use. I think I already put this stuff in, but I'm just going to see if any of it. Not that. Nope. Um, and these are stickers. And then this is a recipe book. I said I don't know what to do with these yet. Creative holiday book. <laughs> Just stuff. So that for sure. Yeah, I'm just trying to think what else I have. Like the horses and dogs. Um, I do have some books that may work for that. So here's some stuff we're putting in there. Let's see what else. I'll be right back. I'm just going to take a quick, quick look. Oh, I know where I should look. Um, even though this isn't animals per se. And I do have some Horses. <laughs> uh, we're gonna get a horse and a dog. Okay, okay. I'm glad I looked. I have this book for drawing animals. So on one side I have dogs, a dog, and on this side I have horses. So there, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, we're we're getting a nice little pile of things we can use. So that's good. Um, and let me see what time it is. Okay, got a little bit of time. I just want to see if there's something red in here that I can use. That from this Edith Holden, just in case. Hmm, a little yellow and red there. But I think I'm looking for something more. Here's some yellow and red. I like that. Let's, let's consider that one. I need to get myself another one of these books, I think. Gloves. Too bad she doesn't have other flowers, zinnias, that sort of thing. That'd be really cool, wouldn't it? No snakes. <laughs> Can't have snakes. Yeah, I'm thinking that one I pulled out with the yellow flower and the red is going to be the one I use. Yep. So this one, this one's perfect. Because this one gives me a red berry and some yellow flowers. So we'll keep that one. So I think that's good. Um, I can't think of anywhere else that I can look for something. Um, let me look at my stuff. Yeah, that would really have um, what else I'm looking for. I should probably invest in a, a like a, a flower book and where I can get some of that stuff. But otherwise, we've got this all set up, and we'll, I'll be adding um, a few extra little things, like I said, and um, maybe I can print something off at work with the zinnias. That would be an idea, wouldn't it? Um, let me, I know, I'll just write that down, because I have some vellum at work. 
and I could definitely print off um, so it, zinnias and gladiolas and morning glories. So I'm going to look for those at work since I'm going in a little early. And if I can find some pretty pretty prints, I can just print them off on um, the vellum. And I think that would be really very cool and pretty. Anyway, thank you for watching. And once I have everything figured out as far as papers go, then I can just start um, getting all this stuff cut up and put in here and ready to go. So I'm really excited about starting another one. Have a great day and bye. Hey everyone, thought I would continue with this. I already taped the first part in the morning and now I thought I had a little time. I'd come back and do a little more of this Daphne's Diary inspired journal. And I did print some stuff off on vellum, some gladiolas and some morning glories and some beautiful red zinnias and some squirrels. I love the squirrels. So I kind of want to cut some of this down to size. And the, these markings, I believe, are for this book. So yeah, basically this one and this one look like they're for this book, more or less. And I've already cut the main pages, but I'm going to cut, um, I want to use these for just certain parts. Um, maybe like a journaling card type thing, I'm not really sure. I think that would look very nice. So I just have to kind of figure out what exactly I want to do. But first, I'm just going to give these a little trim. And I'm only going to do, like, I'll use one in each one. I really like that. Okay, and then the zinnias. So we'll cut out one of the zinnias as well. And they're so pretty. I'm going to make sure I cut the sides. This would may also make a beautiful journaling card. You know, just putting something on the back um, for journaling. And so I think I'm going to leave the top part in case I want that um, for something. So there's that one. And then this I'll just cut and it can be put aside um, for another thing. I probably should just go ahead and cut this in half too. So I'm going to have lots of pieces of things. Um, same here. Let's just cut off these sides. Yeah, so I was glad I found some stuff. And I don't have to worry about copyright because I'm not selling this. So I could just go on Google and print stuff because I'm just giving it as a gift. So as long as I'm not selling, it's not a problem. which is good, because <laughs> I'm not selling. Okay, let's see. And let's just go ahead and trim that. And the one I wanted to keep was, which way were these? Like this, like this. What direction were these flowers anyway? <laughs> and these gladiolas, which um, I think I can just do like this. So you can kind of see where the line is 
here and right here. So that's what I want to cut on, and then I think I'll just use this piece. So there's another one, and I have one more. I have this one. So we'll just do the trim, and then I have to figure out what exactly I want to do with the other ones. All right, and let's just go like this. This one we can go like that. Gladiolas are so pretty. I really do like gladiolas a lot. Okay, so I have some of that stuff cut out and some just needs to get put away. All right, um, this I'm not going to do anything but just trim off this little bit here because I want to use the whole thing. Um, I was going to use it for a journaling card. Um, however, it could also be used as an envelope, but no, I think I'm going to keep it for journaling. Um, these can be pockets. So I'll just do a random sizes. So those make good pockets and tuck spots. And the long one makes um, a good belly band. So I'm going to cut one for a tall belly, taller belly band and one for a shorter one. This is simply... Um, I'm just using, you know, and I have I have some in here, I think. Well, I have some sticker type paper. But I am thinking, you know, if I do something like this behind these, that might be good. Um, not really sure. So I think I'm going to cut these like this. And I already know they are too big for the book. So we'll cut them like this. And then I'll figure out later exactly what I want to do with them because I don't really know yet. I wanted to use this in the book as an additional piece just because of, just look what you can do. I mean, it's fantastic, it really is. But what I, and it's already slit at the top, so this is going to go in the book as um, extra page. And this one, I have not totally decided. And let me see where I cut because I'm sure it was uneven. Yep, <laughs> right there. This is so amazingly gorgeous. Um, and I think like this one would make a beautiful journaling page as well. Because I could, I mean, I could make it into an envelope, but oh, you would lose so much of the loveliness. So I think we have to keep that one as a journal page. However, this one can totally become a, because this is square, this can totally become ten and a half, ten and, let's try ten, nine and a half, can totally become an envelope and it will look great. So nine and a half and nine and a half so I will make this one into an envelope oh yeah that is going to be a fantastic envelope this one I'm going to keep this part and we'll make that into a journaling page I just have to trim it straight because it is not trimmed straight and it will make a really pretty um, journaling page. So I just back it with like 
paper that I tea stain and that just works perfectly. This, um, I think this is just fine to leave exactly as it is. So I'm just gonna add it. Well, and actually, um, I'm gonna make it into a journaling thing as well because I do have some small ones um, tucked in here already, so. Or this one can be tucked in put in as a journaling page, but these two are going to become pockets or something like that. And this one should be tucked in, or this should become another page too, I think. So I have a few extras to add to my pages. These are for embellishing different things that comes later. And then I have this, and this is totally going to be a page. And I just have to, I think that I can do it like this. Let's see. And I think I will be okay. Yes, I didn't cut off the dog. <laughs> so that, that's good. Okay, so this becomes um, a page as well because of the horse. And then this as well will become a page to add to my book, to the journal as a page. Then I have the tail of Squirrel Nutkin, and I think this one should totally be a page in the book, and then the other ones um, can be other things. So actually, let's fold this a little different. Let's do it, let me see, um, I think I can do this without harming anything. Yep, totally, totally can. Okay, good. That's another page to add, because I do want another page like that. And the rest, for the most part, I think, can be tuck spots. It's hard because there's all these big, beautiful pictures, um, but they're not pictures on every page, but maybe where there's these pictures, I should make these into journaling. I think they're all exactly the same. So these can become pretty journaling pieces that I will tuck in. I'll go ahead and do the you know, do something on the other side and tuck those in as journaling pieces or I'll make, I'll, I might make something of them too. I don't know. I like, they all say a tail of squirrel nutkin, so I'm going to just leave that on there. So there's three of those. So cute. And then what's left, um, we just have different things. This, this one has nothing on the back. So I'm thinking, because it's already blank, that we should just go ahead and use it. And we will, it's perfect size, you can just slip in. And actually, I'm going to trim it just a little bit. There we go. Perfect. Another page for the book. I like that. Now I can take some of these cute little pictures and I can make these into little pockets. So there's pictures on both sides. 
so we want to be sure they're cut right. So isn't that adorable? That'll make the cutest pocket ever. Here's another one that we can make a really cute pocket. I, oh, I just thought of something. S, I have an S. I want to make that into the type of pocket where I can just, I can slip this in. So I, I can't cut this anymore. And if I want to slip it in, um, it needs to, okay, the size is perfect. So we're going to go like this, okay? So these two are going to go together which means I should clip them together or I won't remember that I want that. And I think what I'll do on this is I will go ahead and put this little saying that's here, this little bit of writing. I can distress it a little bit and I can put it right here on this card. So we're going to keep all this together. I'm glad I had an S still. i got to find more of those index cards because they're really perfect. Um, here's another adorable one that we can just make into a sweet little pocket. Let's see what kind of spacing is going to be very tight. We might have to make it into something else. But oh goodness, it's so, so cute. Okay. And this one, we don't need that. So then it's always kind of nice um, Let's to just use some of the words and use them as tuck spots. Oh, Mr. Brown, maybe a deep pocket. Would be kind of fun for this page. I'm running it super close. So I'm going to, yeah, and that kind of provides a little bit to read. It just makes it kind of fun, I think. For a pocket or something and then I have this big picture and I'm just undecided what to do um, it's so cute with the owls and the squirrels that I think I want to make it into another journaling page or something because it's just it's too cute it's just too cute okay and then we have this squirrel one by Beatrix Potter the tale of Timmy Tiptoes and I think my husband's gonna come in soon so better get this baby finished um, I'm thinking So cute. Oh my gosh, there's so much cuteness. If I went like this, you wouldn't get all the picture. I just feel like I should have a little bit. Oh, do I want it as another pocket? Because I still got, I can still put stuff in here, so. Let's do it as a pocket, but let's get these edges cleaned up because they're pretty, pretty crooked. Okay, we'll do that as a um, another page in the book. But then the others, um, we can make some cute stuff. 
It's so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I kind of want to do like um, a journaling card. I'm thinking with this, not necessarily a pocket. And then this, this is really hard because this is two-sided and I just, oh my gosh, I can't stand the thought of messing these up when they're so cute. So maybe a little page like this. Here we go. And that way it'll just be part way through so that you get part of it. And I could, I could join if there's one like the same picture um, where I have this problem where there's a beautiful picture on each side and I don't want to lose one of the pictures. Maybe this one where I could make it into two pieces. I think. Let's try this. Let's just see. Because I could go like this and it could be two. If this was evened up right here. Hmm. I'd have to stitch that, but that's okay. Um, let's see. Okay. So if I just kind of just tacked these down together, right like this. So it doesn't have to be too much, but enough. Okay. And then I can just go ahead and come here and trim this off. And we're just going to have to trim a tiny bit of this. And then I can sew this and fold it. And it makes a page. Okay, I think we're good. I think we just have to trim a little because it's a little crooked. What a shock. <laughs> it's a little crooked. Just have to kind of get it cleaned up there. I think we're good. Okay, that will be one and I'll have to come and sew that. All right, and here I just have to decide like what to do again. Um, there's so many cute pages. <laughs> it's so hard. Let me see. I think I just can't. I just can't cut these up because they're so cute. So it's going to become a page. I'm going to have to do something. I can't keep doing this. <laughs> All right, this is definitely a pocket right here. And we can make it like that and like that. So cute pocket. So that's a pocket. And I think this one makes a good pocket we can make this pocket a little deeper but let's let's cut off the stuff we don't want such a cute pocket or tuck spot Whew, I can use both with this one so I love it when I can do that and I don't have to lose anything so right here, and then here's the other one. So it really does make a cute, a cute little 
pocket for sure. Okay, beautiful. Um, this one, we've got a couple of sweet pictures and actually this would make the most adorable tag. This is a perfect tag, or yeah, tag. And this one, we want to be a cute pocket. I'm gonna use this one in my journal. Just a cute little pocket or tuck spot, one of the two. It looks like this is going to be very iffy. Ah. <laughs> Let's cut this up as high as I dare because I want as much of this adorable little picture for another little spot because it's so cute even though I had to cut part of them off. And we can make another little pocket or tuck spot or something. Man, these are the cutest things ever. And this one. Make another cute little spot. Kind of nice and big. Oh, adorable. And one more. And I think this is the one I want. Oh my gosh, this is so great. Look at <laughs> I have to use this. Because he's it's so cute. This is he says what he says here. This makes a cute pocket. I shall be much thinner before springtime, my love, said Timmy Tiptoes, peeping into the hole. They did collect quantities because they did not lose them. Cute, cute, cute. Cute, cute. And I got a little bit of this one, so I'm totally going to use that one too. So there we go. All the little pieces are cut up. My husband didn't make it home yet, so that means I have some time. And um, I don't know if I have time to do this, but I have this punch board that is for making this um, envelope, but it takes a lot of thought because I'm doing like a nine and a half of my paper size. So I have to look for a paper size that says nine and a half. And it's not easy to read. Nine and a quarter, nine and three quarter, nine and a half is punch guide is three and help us all. An eighth, three and one eighth, three and seven eighths. Seriously, <laughs> three and seven eighths. So, let me write that down. Nine and a half, and three and seven eighths is the punch guide. And I did this correctly one time, so I know I can do it correctly. Because you select your card size and you trim your paper, and then you align the left edge to the punch guide measurement, and you punch. So three and seven eighths. And um, they do mark it pretty well. So right here, um, oops right here and then you punch okay and then um, you score your envelope on score line A which is this one right here sometimes I just kind of go like this to be sure I'm gonna get the right the right spot Okay, so scored. Okay, 
Then what you're supposed to do is rotate your paper 90 degrees and I think the instructions were better in here. You know as I do this more I'm, I'm gonna figure it out um, but when you're first starting and it's confusing it's really confusing cut your paper put it in and here it says score your envelope line A this is line A okay box score line A envelope score line A so I shouldn't have scored it over there I should have three and seven eighths that's where I did it wrong the very first time is I should score it line A which is over here, line A. They don't make this easy. I'm just saying, this one. Seven eighths. <laughs> no, no. Where's the line coming out? Right there. I'm sure there's some people who have done this before and know how this works. But, um, because it's supposed to be like this, but this is so thick that I think I found it. That was the one. Anyway, see, I'm not happy with that. To me, that just is weird. Then you're supposed to rotate your paper 90 degrees counterclockwise and align your score mark, which is this, with your score groove, which is here. And now my husband's home, so I'm going to stop. <laughs> Bye. Okay. I stopped. Um, my husband came home, and it's our anniversary, so we opened our cards and stuff. But he helped me figure out this last part. So, what you do is you measure it to three and seven eighths because that's the size, and you score here. And I couldn't figure that out because I couldn't get all the way, and I ended up puncturing this a little. But I didn't know that this guide flips out. Duh. So you have this here and you score here and then you turn this way and align this up over here and score and you keep doing that all the way around and then you punch your corner punch. So now I learned, totally learned something new. I just have to remember what direction to go and I'll be fine. So then, it is so stinking adorable you guys seriously stinking adorable but I'm gonna get this this part sealed really quick um, before and then I will show you what it looks like oh my gosh I just am in love with it okay so you just go like this and Got your, no, I didn't get that to the edge good, but the glue, I should have put maybe a little more glue so that I got to the edge with my glue. Um, oof, excuse me, but I didn't. But I'm not going to worry about that. Some of it got to the edge because there it is. Okay, but not all of it, but that's okay. So, not only, this is the perfect paper for this, not only is it pretty in here and I had to put some packaging tape where I tore it unfortunately but it's beautiful here but then you fold your cover down and let me um, let me just help that along a little okay and you just have a 
gorgeous envelope. It is so pretty. Honestly, I feel like this should be tucked in. Um, I just feel like it shouldn't be sticking up like that. It, I don't like it that way. Um, I'm sure everybody's different, but for me, I just prefer that it probably would help if I get it straight, right? I would prefer that it goes like this because I just think that that's neater. But anyway, then it can go in and just look at how beautiful this envelope is. It is so, so pretty. I just love it. So this will get clipped in the book and it will be just perfect. So, so cute. Anyway, I wanted to be sure and show you that. And now I'm going to go combine all three of my video clips and, uh, and get this up online for you. But I've got lots to do. I got to put these in the book and then I got to back the ones that are going to be journaling pages and then sew around the ones that are going to be pockets. And I think if I put these tabs in, because I had picked out these tabs, um, I had made these tabs from the Daphne's Diary, I'm thinking that these tabs would actually look pretty cute with this. So um, those would have to go on pages too. So that's just some stuff to do. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this and thanks so much for watching. Bye.